All right, so it works like this. First, we're going to work on the enemy looking at the player. But in order for the player to become a player, you know, I can, I can name this player, but there's a thing in here called tag. So in tag, I want to aptly name this player. Okay. And you can write new tags in here by adding a tag. It just so happens that there is a player tag in there. A tag is just, if you label something with a sticker, and that's it. You know, it's just think of it running up to somebody and putting a sticker on their forehead saying, hey, you're player. So now the enemy can see it, look at that sticker and say, hey, you're the enemy. And now the code that we're going to write is uh, something very simple like, well, how far does the enemy see you to read the sticker? <laughs> All right. So in here, uh, let's go in and make some JavaScript. Edit it. All right, so first off, let's declare some variables. Variable one is enemy. What is an enemy? And this enemy, I'm going to use its transform to identify the what an enemy really is. Okay. Player, what's a player? And I'm going to name a game object. A player. Wow, I need some coffee. I could tell I can't type for crap right now. Okay, so variable, um, the direction. All right, now, here's the thing. Um, the direction I want to take is to be very open with this. Let's say later on I want to use this in a first person or third person identification or a, a game. So in order to do that, I'm going to declare a vector three here. And that way I can label director or direction a vector three, meaning it could be up, down, left, right. It could be only right. If it's a two player or a 2D scr side scroller, I can make that uh, just right. That way uh, it's locked in its other axes. So that's why I'm putting that in there. So veritable speed. And it's going to be a float. And I identified float as being anything with, oh, so a one, a two, or a three is an integer. A 1.3 is a float. Okay? So anything with a point value is a float. And lastly, veritable observed. And what does that mean? And observed is going to be the largest of all a Boolean. It's going to be on or off. Or true or false. So does it see it or does it not see it? Would be a better explanation for that. All right, now we got our variables declared. So let me just kind of look up here to make sure everything is red that should be red and orange it should be orange. Yes. Okay. So let's save this out. And let's just do something really small with this first off. Okay, we're not going to concentrate too much on does it see it or does it not. We're just going to uh, state the obvious. If observed, what do I do? 
Well, first off, if observed, <laughs> what I want to do is make sure uh, it, it, I know it got observed. So what I want to do here is first do a direction thing. So direction equals player period transform period position. equals transform position period position okay so that's that's a big old large statement and it looks like it actually looks like it's looping because uh, the direction equals player transformation position equals transform position okay but what is this really doing look at player right Okay, what's a player? Veritable player. It's a game object. So it's going to look at um, the player's actual position first and then decide how do I get to the player. So now I have to code that. So directory direction equals direction normalized. Basically, Hey, walk in a steady beat to the player. Saunter to the player. There we go. And because this video it might get a little too long, because this is this is the thing I wanted to explain out what everything's doing in the script, let's go on to a second part of this video.